episode two of What's Cooking in Grandma's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Grandma's Butter Rolls. It's a recipe that my grandma learned from her great-grandma when she was just a little girl. And I heard it was delicious. Let's get it started. Okay, now I have two cups of flour into our bowl. Next I'm going to add one-fourth teaspoon baking soda, one tablespoon of baking powder, and three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Next, I'm going to add five tablespoons of Crisco shortening. Now we're going to mix it in with our pastry blender. Now, you need to go down lightly so a puff of flour doesn't get in your face. And then just slowly bring it up and go down again. While you're doing that, you need to turn your bowl. And every once in a while, take a fork, a knife, or a spoon and gently scrape off your shortening. You need to keep blending until it is well mixed and it resembles some kind of crumbs. Now our powdery mix resembles sort of like cornmeal. So now we're going to pour in one cup of buttermilk. Now remember, you would make this just like you would make buttermilk biscuits, so you have to use buttermilk. And it's better to mix with a fork on this one instead of your uh, mix mixer. Okay, now we have our dough ready to be finished. Now, you need to set your bowl aside and go on your pastry mat and sprinkle a light covering of flour. Once you have some flour on, you need to take this. Okay, now we floured our pastry seat. Now we just need to flip our dough over and then start kneading. Okay, now we just need to sprinkle lightly on our dough. And then you need to get some on your hands, just so you have enough. And then be sure not to overmix, but you need to just knead it until it's not any sticky. Now we have a little bit of flour on our rolling pin. And we have it in a slightly rectangular shape. It's more of a circle right now, though. But uh, we need to make it into a rectangular shape that is 15 inches by 8 inches. Now we're going to cut the dough into equal 5 inch by 8 inch sections. Now we're going to take one third of our dough and gently place it into our pan. You don't need to spread it around and push it up to the sides, but you, knew you do need to take some butter. Usually it wouldn't be this liquidy, but we overheated it a little. And just sort of spread it around. You need to make sure you get plenty so it's nice and buttery. Okay, and now we're going to add at least one fourth cup of sugar. And you should just sort of sprinkle it around, sort of like you would do with cinnamon bread. Next, you take your center slice. Your dough, your dough is still very moldable, so you need to be careful about how you put it in. Then you take the rest of your butter and do the exact same thing as you did on the first layer. Okay, now it's time for our last layer. What you want to do is place the other round side on the exact opposite side that you place the other one. So it sort of makes it match and it makes it more even. Now you want to spread this last layer real thickly because it's going to be what people see and it's going to be the top layer. So the thicker. Okay, 
Now that this uh, last layer of sugar is on, we're going to go here and heat up our half and half. And we're going to pour in one cup of sugar and some vanilla uh, flavoring. And heat it up and then pour it like a glaze over our bread. Okay. First, now that we have this pan heating up, we're going to pour our two cups of half and half. And then we're going to add our one cup of sugar. Our teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then mix it all well with a glaze spoon. Now we have our milk heated and we're going to take it and we're just going to pour this over onto our dough. Now we're going to place our dough in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Now we've taken our butter roll out of the oven and we're going to let it sit for a while until it cools down and every now and then it will still bubble up. So we just need to rest and then after a few minutes of cooling we're going to cut into it and try it. Okay, now that our bread is cooled, we're going to take a little piece out. You just sort of spoon it out and then you flip it over so the good stuff's on top. And then we're going to sample it. Okay, it's still a little hot so I'm just going to take a little bite and blow on it to cool it down. That is good. Thanks for joining episode two of What's Cooking in Grandma's Kitchen, and we'll see you next time.